Today we're going south of the border with probably one of the best breakfasts known to man. <laughs> it's a breakfast burrito. If you want to see our take on the breakfast burrito, then stick around while we dig, dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brent. And we are the Wall Twins. Twins. However, if this is your first time here with us, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do together. We love coming and doing these great cooks and sharing them with you. Really, this has been one of the joys that we've had over the last several months. So first of all, thank you for being here. We yep. really do appreciate it. But Brett, today, what are we doing, man? We are cooking a breakfast of burritos and one That's that right. we've never done on the Blackstone, but ever so excited to do. We are uh, loading these up with chorizo. With Ooh. potatoes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's show the girls. Oh, yeah, let's know do that. Let's go ahead and take All a look. right, Brett, what do we got going on? Here we on? go. We do have the star of the show. We got this beef chorizo, as you can see right here. We're going to be placing it on these mission tortillas. We're going to use some uh, cubed up potatoes, some diced onions. We're going to throw on this uh, four blend Mexican cheese and uh, use a little bit of salsa and sour cream as well. And we're going to do a slight press on these things. So real quick, we do have the griddle on. We're gonna be using this side of the griddle. These two, the far side will be used kind of as a warming station, hold the meat, hold everything else while we continue to, to get everything else going here and then eventually we'll build on the other side. So we do have it medium low, closer to the low setting. We're not trying to burn anything or even sear anything. We're just trying to cook everything and, and bring it up to temp. That's exactly. kind of it. So we've got it low. So we will be probably in the mid to low 400s for this cook. I wish I could control the temp temperature better. It'd be right around 400 exactly. But even on my lowest setting, my griddle and my hot zones gets black stone is hot. So we've learned to roll with the punches and we do what we can with it. But let's go ahead and get this going, man. So all I'm doing, I'm gonna throw down just a little bit of oil here. Uh, the meat, the meat will have some as well, but this is just to kind of ensure this isn't going to stick right off the bat. We'll get a little stickage, it's just going to be normal, and I don't want to over oil this. We're just going to use a little bit here. Nothing like a tube of meat to really look appetizing. That tubed meat, some more man dingo. Man, this smells unbelievable. So all we're doing is warming this up bringing this up to temp. Oh, wow. Brett, do you smell this, brother? Oh, it smells like a Mexican restaurant. We're there for breakfast. This is exactly why we came to this restaurant, right? For this burrito. So uh, the meat is raw. All we're doing is we gotta get this up to temperature. This does not take long. If you have browned ground beef, or if you've watched any of our cooks where we use, use this to brown the ground beef, it, it takes us about five minutes or so to get that. And that's about what we're doing is we're just gonna get this ready. And as we pull it off, it'll still continue to cook. Brad, look at all the seasoning and juices know, in this. onions in there. And we're adding extra onions to it. For all those that recommended that we do a cook with chorizo, um, thank you. Yes. <laughs> and this won't be our last, I promise you this that. This will not. We're gonna push this off to the side here. Just a little bit of oil there. Now this is for our potato and uh, onion mix. Yep. Right there, Brett. I'm coming at you on this right side. There, my brother. All right, here we go with the potatoes. Let's go ahead and toss in those onions. And for this one, we're, we have selected a white onion for this cook. Right, Brett loves the bite of the white onions. So we're just gonna mix this up and let this cook and do its thing. Get a little salt up in here, just a little bit for flavor and a little bit of pepper. I always like salt and pepper in all my potato forms and it's just gonna help bring out some of those flavors. Well, we wanted to talk about something that we have been wanting to introduce for a really long time. In fact, some of you have asked, and we can't tell you how humbled and moved we are, that people really want to help support the Wall Twins even more than you already are. Yes. So we wanted to let you know that we now have a Patreon account. If you want to learn the details of that, check out the description below. Basically, it's a tiered system of ways that you can offer support to help our channel grow. This is a dream of ours to yes. be able to do this full time, and Patreon is one way where you can actually help with that. So the information's below. We just wanted to let, at least let you know that if you want to be a Patreon, check it out. There are various levels, and it allows you access to, well, things that people won't be able to see here. We 
have behind the scenes footage, Content. we even have, we even have um, specific streams, will be Patreon specific, mm -hmm. and, and as, merch. Well as, as well as merchandise, which is by, which by the way is in the works right now. We're there working. could be more of these out in the world, I'm just saying. <laughs> we are working with Teespring right now to bring some merchandise that will be forthcoming very, very soon. So look for that, but if you'd like to be a Patreon, go ahead and check that out. Can't tell you how much we appreciate it. And I can't tell you how much I wish you were here smelling this. Can Absolutely. you smell this, by Let's the way? It smells potatoes, amazing. Man. Those go. things are just crazy. Okay, so these have been cooking now for roughly 10 minutes. Maybe a little longer, about 10 minutes, guys. About 10 minutes. All we've done is browned up and seasoned these. These are almost like country potatoes. So good. These by themselves, we, we get, I had to get Brett to stop snacking on this. This is so good over here. All right, so now we're gonna bring in the our miso. is what brings us to Gabba today. All right, so here we go. We've got our chorizo now, it's mixed with the potatoes, which just, oh, the smell, bro. This is where we make the magic happen. Brett, slowly pour that oh, in there. Oh, look at this. We got six eggs all coming in to ready. do their thing. Nice catch. Yeah, <laughs> I saw it going. Look at this. Look at that just start to cook up. Okay. Holy moly. Bro. Talk about using the whole griddle. <laughs> man, oh man alive. Okay, so all we're gonna do is just cook this until the eggs are cooked through, and then this part is done, and then we'll get to our build. Add a little bonus, we're gonna go ahead and toss a little cheese up in here. Look at that, brother. <laughs> Look at that. I'm kidding. This looks so amazing. I'm gonna add a little more cheese, hang on. For all the people, again, that said, do a chorizo cook. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> From oh the bottom stars. of our hearts. Our sincere bottom hearts. Wait, what? Sincere bottom <laughs> hearts? Sincerely from the bottom of our hearts. There we go. Obviously, if we wanted more kick, we got the mild chorizo. If you wanted more kick, obviously some jalapenos would go really well in here, even some additional peppers. We decided not to because we wanted this pure. The egg is cooked all the way through. Yep. So what I I'm gonna do- I think we're You can kill the heat right now, right? Nope. Well, yeah, well, we're gonna warm up our tortillas. Oh, God. Okay, let me grab those for you. They're gonna be some beefy burritos. burritos. So the purpose of this is only to warm these up. They're fresh out of the pack, so we just wanna warm these up. We'll wait till they start to bubble just a little bit, which tells us they're done. So for the folding process, really simple. We're just gonna take a little, little bit of this here, fold this, and then we're folding the sides in, and then we're gonna lift all the way up and over and, and roll. The idea is to tuck this all tight. So now what we wanna do is we want to get a nice little sear on this. All right, so we're gonna do this. And where's our press? I got it. And I'm only going to lay the weight of the press here. In fact, I'm gonna kinda of hold off on it. Because if I push too hard, it is going to absolutely explode. <laughs> we got a lot of the juices on there. Press the other side.
There it is. <laughs> Boom! Man, that is incredible. This smells so good. Man. The whole entire, from the time we put the chorizo down, this whole entire pool deck just smelled like an amazing restaurant. Absolutely. Now, like we said, we haven't cooked this before. We've made all sorts of things on here before, and there have been times when I've been making even sausage and things like that, thinking, man, we got to make a burrito. So many of you requested chorizo. Thank you so much. We thought we'd toss it in this breakfast burrito because it seemed like the best mix. But Brett, it's like we always say, man, it can look amazing. It looks as so amazing. I would go to a restaurant for this, buddy. Me too. It can smell amazing. Uh, now we mentioned at least <laughs> once that it smelled good. I'm just wondering, that throwing every, that out there. You say that every time. Every <laughs> mention it because it's all we do during it's these It's true. Let's talk about how good they smell. But if this doesn't taste amazing, this was all for, for not. not. Pure, right? Yep. Cheers, I'll eat to that. My, My brother. brother. It's still really hot. Mm. Wow. That chorizo, perfect. Hold on, perfect I gotta get through this. I wanna try it with some sour cream. Mm-hmm. Mm. Me too. Okay. Mm. <laughs> By the way. Okay. Oh yeah, I gotta get one of those in. Mm. This chorizo mm. is so soft and so flavorful. My God. It is really good from the tortilla that's fluffy. You got a nice little crispy outside when we when we press mm. it. The salsa has a layer in there. Oh. The potato, the bite of the potato and the onions that are so sauteed, nice down. That little bit of sour cream it just marries so all those good. flavors so well. We got it's that. I've got some fresh salsa we're going to toss with this. I'm going to try some with mm -hmm. some Taco Bell mild sauce. Heck yeah. Brett kind of jokingly just said, my favorite hot sauce is Taco Bell mild sauce. It's mild <laughs> it really sauce. is. Hot, it really is. Go ahead, put some, because I want some too. Oops. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Delicious. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Oh. We're just going to eat. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Go ahead. Honestly, the egg mellows out the chorizo, but like in such a in such a complimentary way. That is yep. so good. Those eggs and that potato, the onions, everything, it goes so well in here. If I wanted a little more kick, jalapenos would have been perfect in that. Yep. I'm fine without just the way it is. The salsa we put, it's a mild salsa. Added some. I would say I'd rather have it on the side than in there. Next time I won't put the salsa right yeah. in there and Either just serve way. it on the side. But it was so good. Yeah, and this is... I, Absolutely a banger, man. This is this is a type of meal that about eight hours from now, I'm still gonna be thinking about. And you know what else it does, Brett? This one claps back at you. It claps back <laughs> at you. <laughs> so grateful that we came and did this. So excited and man, I love this. Remember again, check out our Patreon. The link is in the description as well as how we did our build down below. Uh, the description, I know a lot of times people wonder where to find the information. If you look underneath the video, there is a small arrow down. You press that, the description opens up for you. We also have some of the items we use for our cook. We have affiliate links which also helps us anytime you click on those affiliate links and if you get any of the products that we have down there it does give us a small kickback at absolutely no cost to you and we really really appreciate it again another way to support the wall twins brett let's go ahead and get up out of here though so aside from coming to make these amazing chorizo breakfast burritos why else are we doing this because all we do is twin no, no matter, matter what. what and with that we bid you adieu and adieu forget, forget to like and subscribe and griddle on, on.